Do you create video content and need to transition from one scene to another without using a basic jump cut? Learn how to do this today using Canva. Stay all the way through to learn a free trick on picking the colors for this transition. Let's start on the Canva homepage. You're going to want to select a video document for your content. Go to the Elements tab and to make this as simple as possible, choose two photos. I'm just going to scroll down here and see all photos. Let's choose this one. This is a cool trick. Use your mouse and hold down the left mouse button and drag it to the blank page while holding that left mouse. Release the mouse when it automatically takes over the background. Click the plus button to add a new blank page. If you forget the method of drag and drop, then what you can do is right click set image as background. We now have a plus sign between the two pages. Click that and we're going to choose the icon that is for transition. There are eight different transitions here, but the brand new one is called color wipe. You can customize this transition between images or videos by changing the speed, directions, or even colors. The speed duration will vary. Right now, the max time allowed is 2.5 seconds. If I change page one to be a little longer and page two to be a little longer, when I click change transition, you will notice that now there is more time here. So it technically could go up to 3.3. The longest duration I've seen is five seconds. There are eight different directions that you can choose from. You can choose to go left, right, up, or down. And then there are four diagonal versions too. Up to the left, up to the right, down to the right, and down to the left. If you are finding value in today's Canva tutorial, let me know by hitting the like button. It lets me know that you want more lessons like this one. Canva automatically chooses colors for you that you may wish to change. To change the color of your transition, select one of the colors that's already been preset for you. You can use document colors, brand colors, or even default colors. You can even choose the plus sign to customize a more specific color if you like. Remember to play around with the colors. You can use four different colors or you could use one of the colors more than once. If you use a color that coordinates your style, video, or image, it will make the transition look even better. Remember, even if you only use the free version of Canva, you can add up to three colors to your brand kit. This is a great trick for pre-selecting colors for your color wipe transition. But I have another one that I find helpful even when using Canva Pro. As I've said before, Canva automatically chooses some colors for you. But if you have some colors on the page, it will select some of the colors that it believes matches your project the best. Let's take a look at this. You can even take that and switch some things around if you would prefer something different instead. I would love to know what your favorite new to you feature is. Let me know in the comments. I am absolutely loving this new transition because if you have colors in your document, it will pull them for you. But what happens if you don't have any colors up there? You can give yourself some document colors. What I like to do is have some color squares on the blank page of the project. Select R on your keyboard to pull up a square. If you have Quick Enable turned on like I do, when you select the square, you will see arrows coming out of them. 
When you tap the arrow, it will bring up a new square. You can continue to add squares. And for this one, since there are four colors in the transition, I'm gonna choose four squares. And I'm actually just gonna select these arrows and remove them. Now, I'm gonna choose some colors. I'm gonna select this square, this color. I'm gonna go down here and look, there are some photo colors here. So I could choose this color. I could choose this color. Now I'm gonna choose this color. And I think I'm actually gonna choose the same color again. Let me get rid of this transition because you see here's the automatic Canva colors. I'm going to click none and then I'm going to click color wipe. You'll see now that it's got the color documents and you can switch these colors around if you want by selecting them like you did before and moving things around. So let's go and look and see how that looks. If I remove these squares now and I want to add the same transition here, it's going to go back to this because I removed those document colors. So what you're definitely going to want to do if you want these document colors to be used in other transitions is to keep it at the end of your project and then right before you download your project, you can delete it, click share, download, choose a file type, select the pages if needed, and then click download again. You can learn more about the other seven transitions by watching this Canva tutorial. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, look in the description for some recommended videos. Make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye.